Hey guys, welcome back. Where today I'm going to talk about the new Model X and S refresh. There's a lot of us who has been waiting for this update for several years. All the time since uh, the Model 3 came out, uh, many of uh, a lot of people are uh, expecting to see a Model S and X uh, refresh with uh, some uh, similarities. Uh, with the um, taking from the Model 3 over to the S and X. And now, finally, how long has it gone? Three, four, four years, something like that. When Model 3 came out in uh, in uh, GUS. Finally, finally we got it, finally. So let's start off going through Tesla website and check what's new and different. Now we are on the website, on the Tesla website, so we can see the difference, uh, or you can see what's new here. So the obvious is the range, and the top speed, and the 0 to 100. Oh. Yeah, by the way, I'm using the metric uh, here. Um. Wow. It's just so crazy. Crazy numbers. Um. Okay, so state obvious. The front is new. So many people don't like the new front. Uh, I can only say that it's it's interesting. Um, I would say wait until you see the car because I also I have up the Model Three side here as well. I also in the start does, didn't like the, the front of Model 3, but when I see it uh, live, I actually do like it a lot more. So, probably the same here uh, with the Model S, that when you, uh, when you are seeing it live, you probably like it more. So, what's new then? The front, Chrome did it. It's the inside we want to see, right? The new screen for uh, the Model S and X, 17 inch, perfect, just perfect. And it has a processor that just kicks ass. Um, yeah, so Elon tweeted that you can play Cybertrunk on it, Cyber, Cyber, Cyberpunk. Uh, the interesting part, you have also, they have the um, normal screen also for, uh, continue with that one, in the Model S and X. Uh, the interesting part is that you don't have the driver information on the big screen uh, as well when you're driving, so it will be interesting to see what they are coming up with here. Oh, I love that, because in the Model 3, we have those two choices all the way over here, all the way on the other side of the screen. So you have actually have to reach for it to press uh, the, the, press those two. Uh, it's for the heater, heated uh, front screen, and to the heated rear, rear screen as well, windows and side mirrors. So those two choices are all on the other side here in the model three. Uh, whereas here it's on the left side, that's much better. And everything in the middle here looks just like the Model 3, 2021 model. So it's just the same interior uh, in the middle console uh, as in the Model 3. You have the two charging ports, I mean the charging pads. You have the sliding door for storage and you have the same armrest, it seems like. Maybe this one is bigger, I don't know. And the cup holder should be... I can't... In Model 3 you have open cup holders here. Do you need to lift this one up to have cup holders in the Model S and X? That's strange. Or are they thinking they are going to use the new... side pockets? What you are here for is to hear me talk about the steering wheel, right? So everyone and the mother is talking about the steering wheel. First off, I was like, what? 
Um, it seems to, maybe two first uh, first realistic. It's maybe too. Too I want uh, always want to do something new, right? And like Apple, Apple also do lots of crazy stuff, right? I mean. When the iPhone came out, the first one, the whole world was like, what? And this, maybe this is the new standard in some years. Would we, would we like it? Is it something that we, we can see ourselves using? I don't know. Really. I don't know. The blinkers are on this. Yeah, and the lights as well. I hope there is haptic feedback on those buttons and not just touch because touch on the steering wheel. Yeah, and you have the same scrolling scrolling wheel with the uh, uh, metal wheel. I don't know what I see here. The horn actually is a button. Yeah, it's the washer fluid and the microphone button. Aha. Uh -huh. So you have the horn. The washer fluid button and a microphone button to, so we can talk to commands. I will come back to uh, the steering wheel later on. The new rear seats with the screen in button there, where, where the passenger in the back seat can sit and play while driving. That's at least what everyone thinks, and it's probably the truth as well. Can you sit and play and have headphones hearing the sound of the game? Is there no sound of the game, or is it? Hope it's not. But is it really? Is it gonna be sound in the whole car? So the front seat passenger, or the front seat persons, and the driver are needed to hear on you play the game. That's not good, at least. But I think there's. I think there's probably either no sound or. Uh, they have uh, capability for Bluetooth headset. So that's probably a, a thing. It will be interesting to see. It will be interesting. You have charging ports for two phones in the back there as well. And there's actually a storage under here. Earlier this week I was having my car, uh, my Model 3 Performance, on uh, the service. Well, they called me to, uh, to uh, bring in the car for uh, some heat pump uh, issues. I, I haven't expected any heat pump issues, but uh, they told, told me my car had it. So and anyway, uh, then I um, needed to take a Uber. That's what Tesla probably have some deals with. Uh, so I took a Uber back home, and that was actually a model uh, a S class Mercedes. And when I see this. When I see this uh, back seat here, it's so similar. This whole back seat, middle seat, is so similar with um, the S class, where we have, yeah, charging pads for phones, storage, and cup holders. So, is it uh, Mercedes? Is it Mercedes who has uh, designed that for them? Maybe, could be, but this. This thing is why uh, my probably most um, exciting thing, and it's, it's technology. And wow, the, the the sound, the new sound system, the Model Three kicks ass. Uh, but I think the new S and X would be even much better. Not even better, but probably much better. So rumors that is actually. Bose, who has delivered the sound system to the car, I don't know if it's true, but I saw a picture and I think a comment. I don't remember where, and I can't find it again. But but they are using acoustic sound reduction to insulate or to 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 have to make the car uh, less noisy. Wow. And wow, 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 wow. If it works, if it's not a 
if it's <laughs> yeah if it actually works and not a just gimmick or a thing that sounds like a really cool thing that would be a really good thing that I've, I've that will probably change the uh, industry because then you don't need to use all the material or all the things insulated in the car with yeah the things you usually, usually do so interesting to see I'm excited for that one and yeah here you can see actually the difference look here you can see the difference between, between the long range and the plaid I don't know maybe the plaid plus is actually having uh, also another style of this one, I can but yeah. Because the Plate Plus is most likely coming with the new batteries. Giving the, the car a range of, was it, between, oh not between, but even higher than 800 kilometers. Just immense. So now I just br uh, br put up a, a more or less, earlier model uh, to see because you can see back here this redesigned you can see it here as well um, but do you remember how the old one is so I put it here see here uh, first one is chrome and chrome the new one is black on black I think the new one is even I don't know if it's even uh, wider, but it looks for me <laughs> much better. Um, yeah, this is this is the performance of the plate. Um, this one is not, but anyway, anywho, the difference there. And to my big surprise, it doesn't seem like they have changed the char charge port. So in the model as you have this red thing here as the charge part with the type 2 or uh, the yeah the type 2 cable going in here and there's no room for a CCS cable in there so I wonder if you still need to change because now you have are um, able to upgrade your current model S and X cards to have a CC as upgrade and that means they are changing the uh, something with the car uh, that can take uh, or understand take uh, that kind of power I don't know uh, but anyway uh, but there's also um, an adapter coming to it so we have to have a CCS adapter then because we have the CCS plug CCS plug and then have the adapter going to a type 2 um, type 2 that can fit the car and it seems like you have to uh, have that one as well on the new one and that's I would say that's a bummer but okay that's you can see the difference uh, with the model 3 the model 3 this is the wrong time but anyway it's similar so in the model 3 have all the whole flap here or all this section is actually opening up and you have room for a CCS and put, put in a CCS cable there and I can't see I can't see that here so it's probably just this one this little flap here just don't lose that one just don't lose your adapter I think it's a bummer but yeah they don't want to change redesign and the whole backlight, I guess. New wheels, new diffuser, new front. I think it's, I think it's like I like it from this side. <laughs> Not that much from this side. I don't know. I don't know. I have to see it live. I have to see it live. And yeah. It's funny that they are uh, uh, explaining those. Uh, well, also done Brussels. Okay, that one is uh, nicer to display because that is really high speed. 
like really high speed. Uh, also this one, high speed. But Oslo, Gothenburg, easy. Because uh, yeah, it's 300 kilometers, but the, the speed is not that great. So it's 110 and 170. So easy for the cars. Also the Model 3. No problem. So here you can see a bit of the FSD update. Um, but yeah. I want to show you something. I want to show you a bit of the steering wheel. Uh, steering wheel things. Okay. Uh, because I am a gamer. And I'm as a gamer. And I'm also gaming, gaming flight simulator. The new gentleman. Uh, not that much, but yeah, I have a joke myself, so let's bring it up here and let's talk a bit of the joke in the uh, a joke, the joke uh, the steering wheel here in the Model S and X and how I think about it. So if they are thinking of having the car uh, with a joke, they have to. I think they have to have it like uh, a Formula car, like this steering wheel here. Oh, not this steering wheel, but this joke here. So, turning halfway, or halfway, yeah, it's just turning inside out, but uh, halfway, halfway. Then, I actually can see this is working, because if you are turning here, uh, if, if you drive a car and they are turning, and the more you turn, the more string radius, the more uh, the car would turn. So this, um, if you have it like this on in the car, it actually means you have it more like that. Um, I don't know if you can understand me, but the turn circle would be... Uh, um, I don't know the words, but I'm looking for when I'm turning, the more turn, even more turn radius you give. That's what I get. So the more you turn the wheel, or the joke, the more uh, the car also will turn. The greater the turn radius will be. So if you have it like that, that means full, fully, like really fully um, the turn, turn signal. And I also would guess, uh, if they are serious again about this one, I would guess there are. Um, I would guess they are thinking of uh, having it adjusted to speed. So when the speed is low, then the turn, the turn will be greater. And if the speed is high, that the full turn here would not be a full full turn. Uh, on a car, so when a car is going 10 kilometers an hour, like re really slow, then you will have full turn. But if you go in like 100 kilometers an hour, you will just have, yeah, not not fully turned. So I would guess they are. I need to implement that uh, because I can't see. Another way to do it, really. You can't uh, drive in 100 kilometers an hour and just turn like that, and you have plenty of turns. That that that, that doesn't work. That works in 10 kilometers, but yeah. So I would guess they are actually thinking of implementing something like that, and and then I can actually see this is working. I would actually love to see that in a car. Uh, yeah. So, what do you think of the new uh, steering wheel? The joke. The joke! Actually, the government has said here in Norway that there's no regulation for having a round steering wheel. So, this is actually. This could be happen also here in Norway. So, yeah. 
it would be cool to see. But uh, of course, Tesla also have a round steering wheel option, or maybe not option, but they have a round steering wheel uh, for the new update. I haven't shown to you because that's regular, but yeah, I could actually see the new steering wheel be a joke. And it would be cool to see, yeah. Okay, that's it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Please press the like button and please subscribe as always. Okay, cheers, bye.